Hey guys, Patty here again. Let's just jump right into this video. Now, this video is going to be a bit different from my usual uh, garden videos because it's very cold outside. And I just figured I would do something that I've always wanted to do. From now on, I may incorporate some history about gardens that I love because uh, I love books, I love history. And it's something I've always wanted to do uh, because every garden has a story. The reason why you choose to have a garden has a story. The reason why you have those sort of plants in there has a story and this video is going to talk about one of the movies that i watched that i they used a rose to tell the perfect story in 50 seconds i've actually reviewed that video on my channel seven months ago but i actually didn't pay attention and i went back this weekend i was watching it again and again and i realized oh my god oh my god why was a rose selected for this particular role On the screen here, you have a nice, nice painting of Hieronymus Bosch. Now, the name of this painting is the Garden of Edley Delights. And this is one of his best paintings, very famous paintings. To the mere eye is just a very gorgeous painting. You see people, you see animals, you see trees, and you have outdoor scenes. But the story behind this painting is so powerful. It's even going to be known to generations after me, right? It's, it's history. And I just wanted to show you, I wanted to preface this by showing you that every painting, every garden has some sort of story behind it. People don't often tell it, you know, but we're going to just look at this particular scene in this Netflix movie that they used a rose. And you can just tell that the people who wrote the story um, are real conoscentes, right? They're real conoscentes that need to be applauded because they sort of summarized the history of King Louis XIV in 50 seconds. When we think of the Garden of Versailles, right, we think of King Louis XIV, and this was what the movie was about, um, a little chaos, and King Louis was a king of France from 1643 to 1715. He's also, he was also famously known for not being able to keep it in his pants, if you know what I mean, and he had lots and lots of mistresses, and the movie actually portrayed that, and that is a scene that we're going to be taking a look at, and also how the rose ties into that so this is a picture we are going to be analyzing i'm going to be talking about and you might disagree with me but before i play the small clip though i wanted to take note of things that i'm going to say right so i wanted to look at the flower that they have it's not a red rose it's almost like a pinkish one i wanted to pay attention to the woman standing beside kate and also i want you to pay attention to the other women standing behind her at attention very quiet very obedient all right and lastly i want you to pay attention to the words right look at king louis facial expression and the words he says after he takes the rose. so let me go ahead and play the clip and then i'll, I'll jump back on okay your majesty this is your fourth season it is, sire, for the most famous gardener in the world. Allow me, your majesty. A light, honest scent. Natural and unforced. Some of the roses seem faded and overblown. The rose in this scene represents women in King Louis' love life, right? So if you look behind Kate, you see women of different ages and sizes, right, behind her. And these were the women of court, right? So the rose here is telling a story, right? So watch as the woman standing beside Kate takes the rose from uh, Kate and hands it over to the king and listen to his words.
So it seemed that King Louis deemed the action of the woman who took the rose from Kate and handed it to him as aggressive, prompting him to speak the way he spoke. This scene in particular also shows that he didn't have any respect for the women in his court, right? The women that he bedded, he had no respect for them just by saying that some of the roses seem faded and overblown. Well, some of them have gained weight, some of them are half as. But this is just my opinion and I think that using a rose for this particular scene in 50 seconds just captures his whole love life. It's very, very deep if you really, really think about it because the women in the back there, a rose being used, not a red rose, which we're gonna get to in a minute, as to why a red rose wasn't used as opposed to the color of the rose that was used, right? So we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Aphrodite, according to Greek mythology, was a, was the goddess of love, right? And she was constantly boasting about how pretty she was, how she could make any man fall in love with her. And the god at that time, known as Zeus, was not very happy and he decided to teach her a lesson. And the lesson that he wanted to teach her was that he wanted to have her stop boasting about how gorgeous she was and all that. So he made her meet a man named Adonis. Adonis was a stud, very handsome, and at some point, Adonis ended up dying in a fight, right? A fight that Zeus had put together or something like that. And as he lay dying, Aphrodite arrived and as she rushed to his side, she got pricked by a thorn of rose. And as she cried and cried, most of the blood seeped into the roses that were there turning the rose into sort of a handsome red that is why a red rose is such a massive massive symbol of love right so hopefully this makes sense and i think this is why they didn't use uh the red rose in in the movie because um that would show love and i don't think that king louis the 14 actually loved any of these women he just wanted to get into their pants right so yeah so basically i think that's why they refrain from using the red rose so i hope this actually makes sense and i hope you've enjoyed this and that's about it okay thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and if you have enjoyed me practicing my storytelling abilities on you please do consider subscribing i will really appreciate it and i shall see you in my next video bye